Good day, it's Mike from Flex Radio VA3MW, and I wanted to talk about computer resources. That's probably something we have not talked about at all, and how critical they are. I'm using a laptop. It's an i7 laptop. It's um, it's fairly uh, strained at the moment because I'm recording this video, but that's also very critical to what I want to do. We're looking at Task Manager. Task Manager is part of Windows. You can bring up your Task Manager by right-clicking on the taskbar usually which is at the bottom of the screen unless you moved it somewhere else and selecting task manager and it's a very good tool to tell us how busy we are we go into processor processes and we have a number of apps running here but you'll notice that uh, you know screencast-o-matic which is the tool i use to produce these videos is consuming a fair bit of resources but that's okay because i want that so uh, we're going to go to the performance graphs here and keep an eye on you know, this computer is running at 80% and the graphical processor unit, which draws to the computer screen, is also pretty darn busy. So let's do a few things here. And uh, how can I, this, this machine I wouldn't use for very much digital operation. Uh, but I want to show you what happens with some of the things you can do to get back some computer resources and maybe reduce this. And uh, you'll see we're running at 3 megabits on the LAN. I don't care about the LAN because I have lots of LAN headroom, but I don't have much computer headroom. In the display on the left side of the screen, and we'll get really radical here, if we take the frame per second, which controls the update rate to the top half of Smart SDR, and in this case we call it the, the uh, pan adapter, and we slide it all the way over to the left to one, you'll see it's updating once about once per second. And you'll see over here that we're actually getting back some computer time. It's just quite not as busy. And the GPU also got less. Okay, that's a good thing. And for digital modes or a rag chewing, do we really care? Well, tell you what, let's slow down the waterfall on the bottom. Same thing. That's the rate of the waterfall. Same story. And, you know, we went from about 72% down to 62%. And the GPU got uh, a little happier as well. Well, that's um, that's got to be a good thing. And then the other trick is if you reduce the amount of display showing here, again, big saving. So let's just take Smart SDR and make it this small. And uh, we were at about 62%. Let's see if we get a little bit more uh, or back. Yeah, 62. So it's going down. And the GPU is really happy. All right, so we're about half in use with doing everything else. Now, we're not even running a digital program yet, but I'm going to start um, I'm going to start WSJT uh, using as I said I'm using Slice Master and that's going to take a while to launch. Simply because this computer's busy. And we often get this call where you know, everything's really lethargic and very slow. And while it doesn't show the computer's totally maxed out, it doesn't have a lot of, you know, it's running in fifth gear at about 70%. Now we're up and running, and we will take this and get rid of it. And, you know, we've got a waterfall down here. Let's see if I can drag it up out of the way. We'll put it here. And you know what? I guarantee this guy is not a second behind. That's I'm a second behind. That WSJT is so lethargic that it can't even decode uh, in real time. And these are pretty big delays, greater than a second, four tenths of a second. And um, so tell you what, can we make it worse? Yeah, we probably could. So let's um, increase the size of Smart SDR. And that's going to take a little bit of time. And we'll go back to WSJT to keep an eye on it. And you know what? The waterfall is still running in WSJT. So we're going to kill it. And uh, just increasing the size, by the way. Let's see if we got better. Where these delay times are, you know, look at that. They're variable. So we're coming up to the next cycle. A little better. Some are slower. And is it this one or two people, or is it the computer? Don't know. But it gives you some things to keep an eye on. Now, remember the uh, this the frames per second and the rate? I'm going to crank it all the way back up, which is the way it comes out of the box. 
and we're going to bring this back up. We've seen that over here in our CPU that things are getting a little busier and uh, the GPU is now busier. And uh, let's see if these delay times get worse. Or it just doesn't decode because they're outside the window. And uh, I'll tell you what, we'll erase everything and see what comes up. You know what? We got nothing and we didn't do anything. And this isn't DAX corruption. This is the computer's too busy to decode and present things on time. So let's go back to the display and drag these back down to zero because we said we're a pretty busy computer. And uh, we'll bring up WSJT again. Does it get any better? And we'll give it a couple of cycles. Look at that. We got one. And um, I don't know if WSJT just, well, but look at the de delay time, two seconds. That's huge. And the limit's about two and a half. So now we're getting more. And this is 100% related to CPU resources being totally consumed by the computer. And by the way, we're not even running in browser yet. If I spin Chrome up right now, it'll get uglier. So you've often heard us talk about uh, DPCs. Uh, they can be related to many things. But by using the rate and frame on Smart SDR and maybe just keeping it smaller than you need instead of that uh, big picture we like, you may find that you have more success and less latency. Uh, and look at that. Now we're, uh, we're down to 0 0.1 uh, DTs, which is a good thing. A little bit on computer performance and things you can look for. Now we look a little normal. And... Uh, Hope that gives you some clues if you're seeing some latency issues. 73, Mike, VA3MW.